Well, hello, this is Kelly and I am the Mathematic Plumber and welcome to video two of the air supply series. Today we talk about sizing air supply for category one natural draft appliances installed in a tight constructed building. All code references will be made from the B149.1 natural gas and propane installation code by CSA of Canada and I'm using the 2015 edition. Now we're gonna be looking at tables 8.1 and 8.2 out of the gas code which start on page 84 and go to 85. Table 8.1 says combustion dilution air requirements for appliances having draft control devices when the combined input is up to and including 400,000 BTUs, which is 120 kilowatts, and the structure complies with clause 8.2.1 A or B. Now, as discussed in the previous video, complies with clause 8.2.1 A or B means that the building is built airtight or it is a type A building. Also note, these tables only go up to a combined input of 400,000 BTUs. Anything above that needs to be sized a completely different way, which won't be discussed on this video. The other thing we should note about both of the tables is how it's laid out. If we look on the far left column, total input of appliances, thousands of BTUs per hour, or in brackets, kilowatts. Middle column, required free area of air supply opening or duct in inches squared or millimeters squared. Next column, acceptable approximate round duct equivalent diameter in millimeters and inches. For the purposes of these videos, I'm gonna be using BTUs and inches, but the table is used the exact same way if you wanna solve with kilowatts and millimeters. Now, before we get into sizing, let's go through table 8.2. Combustion air requirements for appliances not having draft control devices when the combined input is up to and including 400,000 BTUs per hour, or 120 kilowatts, and the structure complies with clause 8.2.1 A or B. Now there's one major difference here. Table 8.1 is for appliances with draft control devices. Table 8.2 is for fan assisted appliances. They are different and the number values are different because of that. Well, let's size some up. My first example will be a draft hood equipped boiler that is 240,000 BTUs. Now, because my boiler is equipped with a draft hood, I'm going to use table 8.1. So I go down on the far left hand column. I need to go down to 240,000 BTUs. It isn't there. So I need to go to the next size larger, which is 250. And I'm going to go right across to the far right column. I need to have a seven inch round duct air supply. For the next example, I have two draft hood equipped appliances, 125,000 BTU furnace and a 45,000 BTU hot water tank. So first of all, I need to go and add up the BTU loads, 125 plus 45,000 BTUs equals 170,000 BTUs. Because both appliances are equipped with draft hoods, I go back to table 8.1 and I go down to 170,000 BTUs. It's not there. So I go to the next biggest one, 175,000 BTUs, go across to the far right, and I need a six inch air supply. So for my next example, I have two fan assisted furnaces. The first one is 125,000. The second one is 45,000 BTUs. Once again, I have to add up both of those numbers. And so I have a total BTU load of 170,000 BTUs. Now both appliances are fan assisted, meaning they are not equipped with draft control devices. So I need to go to table 8.2. But once again, I go down the far left hand column looking for 170,000 BTUs. It's not there. So I go to 175,000, go across to the far right, and I need a four inch air supply. So we should be able to see a difference there between the last two examples. Table 8.1 gives us a larger air supply because it's also giving us air for dilution air. But appliances without draft control devices don't use dilution air. So the fan assisted appliances will have a slightly smaller air supply. Now we have a scenario where we have a fan assisted and draft hood equipped appliance together. I need to reference code clause 822 to figure out how to size this. My paraphrase is that we need to take the appliances that only have draft control devices and use that input for table 8.1. Then I need to go to table 8.2 with the total input of everything together and size the appliance there. And then of course I need to go and take the larger of the two numbers and that will be the size of my air supply. 
So my example will be a 250,000 BTU draft hood equipped boiler and a 100,000 BTU fan assisted furnace together. We begin at table 8-1 with draft hood equipped appliances only. Well, the grand total on that is 250,000 BTUs, so we go down to 250 on the left hand column. Come across to the right, we need a 7 inch round air supply. We will jot that down, we need to reference this later. Now we look at table 8-2 with a combined total of everything. Well, I've got a 250,000 BTU boiler and a 100,000 BTU furnace. Put those together, I've got 350,000 BTUs. So I go down to 350,000 BTUs on the left hand column, come across to the right. I need a 6 inch round air supply. Now I need to choose the larger one. Well the first time around when we used table 8-1 it said 7 inches. So 7 inches will be my air supply size. For a last example let's flip the tables on this one. Now I'm going to have a 100,000 BTU furnace that's equipped with a draft hood and I have a 250,000 BTU fan assisted boiler. With the total BTU load of the draft hood equipped appliances, so let's look at table 8-1. Well, I just have the one furnace that's 100,000 BTUs. I come down to that, go across to the right, I need a four inch air supply. But now I need to check all appliances combined with table 8-2. So 100 plus 250,000 BTUs is 350,000 BTUs. So I'm going to go down to 350 in table 8-2, go across to the right. I require a 6 inch round air supply. Well that's bigger than the 4 inch that we checked on table 8-1, so 6 inch will be my size. The final thing we need to point out for this is a little footnote that's on the bottom of each table. It says these figures are based on a maximum equivalent duct length of 20 feet. For equivalent duct lengths in excess of 20 feet and up to and including a maximum of 50 feet, increase round duct diameter by one size. To find the equivalent duct length, what we need to do is actually measure the air supply duct and then add 10 feet for every 90 degree bend that we have in it because this pipe is a little bit restrictive to flow. So this is the air supply duct that's going to the outside and it goes about 12 feet across to where it turns a corner over here. And it comes across about six feet and now we're going to drop down here about eight feet until we get to the combustion and air pot. That puts us at a measured length of 26 feet. So I had a measured length of 26 feet in this example and two 90 degree elbows at 10 feet each. I add all that together and I have a total equivalent duct length of 46 feet. Now because that number is in excess of 20 feet, now I need to go and increase my air supply size by one. I was at six inches, now it needs to be seven. And just for the record, anything over 50 feet will need to have mechanical air supplied to it, meaning you need some sort of fan to blow in the combustion air with an approved setup. Well, this brings us to the end of this video and stay tuned for video three of the air supply series where we talk about loose constructed buildings and how to size air supply for that. Until then, have a great day.